Hello dear viewers, welcome back to another Odoo 18 tutorial by Cybrosis. Today in this video, let me teach you how a new appraisal is created. You all know what appraisal is, right? It's the action of assessing the employees. That is, we are going to evaluate the performance of the employees. And based on that, further actions will be taken. So for this, you have to create a new appraisal, right? So let's move on and see how a new appraisal is created. So let's see how creating and managing of appraisal is done in Odoo 18's appraisal module. So first of all, you have to navigate to the appraisals. Here it is. And then you can see once you go to the appraisal app, you can see all the appraisals of different months. And you can directly go on and click to new to cre create a new appraisal record. So this is the appraisal creation form. Next thing is you have to fill in the form. So then what you have to do is you have to select the employee. So I'm selecting Anita. So Anita's manager and all the job position department company and all will be automatically filled. Okay. So here you can see the employee. You can select the manager which will be automatically populated based on the employee record. Okay. Similarly, we have the department, the company and uh, the job position and all. Next, you have this appraisal date. So you have to set the appraisal date which defaults to the current date okay so you can change it from there and then you have the um, option to click on confirm and all okay just by creation is what you're meaning then what you can do is simply give a appraisal date and then confirm it okay so if you are going to do that then we have a lot of things underneath which is the appraisal template where you can choose a default template so if you're changing the template means it will look like this if you are changing it to another one, then it will be like this. So whatever the template is, you can do that from here. So I'm putting the default template where under the appraisal tab, you can see the employee's feedback as well as the manager's feedback. And then also you have a private note here. So let it be there. I am simply saving it. Okay. And after saving it, you can click on confirm so that this will become a confirmed appraisal. Okay, so you can see the appraisals, the goals, the meetings and all. Now let's go back to the appraisals dashboard. So here you can view all the appraisals in a Canvan view, which is grouped by company, department and then status. So in an appraisal card, you can view the details like the employee name, the department, the date and also the scheduled activities. Okay, and also you have another thing, which is the employee feedback. So you can, you know, employee access the appraisals on the dashboard. You can, you know, fill out the employee's feedback section and click not visible to manager to make the feedback visible to manager. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'm just opening this thing. Here you can see the employee's feedback, right? So here in the employee's feedback, as I said before, you have a thing which is not visible to manager. So if you click on this, you can see the employee's feedback will be published without their consent. Do you really want to publish it? This action will be logged in the chat. So that's a confirmation message. Once you enable that, that will make the feedback visible to the manager. Okay, if you are disabling it means this won't be visible to the manager. So that's the employee feedback. So where you have a lot of things like employees, I mean, this is the template which we have already chosen. Okay. Here you have the feedback of the manager. So this will be accessed only by the manager. Okay. For the team members only. And then you have the complete feedback here, which will be the manager's feedback section. So manager will be filling out the section. And then you have the option to publish the feedback. So if you click not visible to employee to make the feedback visible to the employee. Right now, this is not visible to employee. If you make it, I mean, if you enable it, it will be visible to the employee. Similarly, we have both the manager's feedback and the employee's feedback. So you can make it hidden with each other. Whatever, based on your need, you can enable this. Okay. So that's how you do. And then you have the skills section. Okay. So here is where the skills evaluation take place. So, you know, the skills tab display the employee's skills. You can see the skills like the marketing that is the public speaking, email marketing, communication, CMS. Then you have under programming language, JavaScript and all. From here, you can update the skill levels, add new skills and provide justification for changes. So adding a new skill is really simple. You can click on add new skills. 
or whether to update a new one. From here, you can choose the skill and you can add a new thing over here. So I am adding a new skill which is language and from the drop down you can choose a language and also the level. Okay, I am putting it to C2 which is 100% saving and closing it which enables a new skill here. I mean which activates a new skill here under the employee section. Okay, and then you have this thing which is called the private note where you can add notes. Okay, so manager can add private notes to the appraisal for internal reference over here. And then you have meetings here. So you can schedule from the dashboard also or even from the appraisal from, uh, form. So this is the appraisal form. If you just click on meetings smart button on the appraisal form, you can simply create or you know schedule a meeting. So from here you can drag to what time it is. Okay, and then here comes a new event. You can uh, Specify the necessary things and from here you can save and close even a meeting or an event has been scheduled. So scheduling a meeting is really simple. You can do that from the you know appraisal form uh, like using the calendar and all. Okay, the other one is you can go back to the appraisals. Here you have the dashboard, right? So here you have an activities, you know, thing. So if you click on that, you can schedule an activity from here. Okay, so uh, you can choose the activity type. And once the thing is done, you can click on schedule. So that's how a meeting is scheduled in the new appraisal. Okay, so you can complete the appraisal. That is, I have done this. This is Anita Oliver's meeting. I mean, there's a meeting for that person. So you can confirm. I mean, it's already confirmed. You can mark it as done and then complete the appraisal. So once it's done, you can click on mark as done. So this will go to done state. And if you want to reopen it, click on reopen. So once you are reopening it means it will go back to the very first state which is the to confirm. So it's not confirmed yet. And then you have two other things which is the goals and the appraisals. So this is the goals if manager have set any goals for the appraisal that can be seen here. So we'll be talking about goals in another video in detail. And then you have the appraisals. So how many appraisals currently this person has is shown here. So for Anita we have two if you go back and check in the dashboard. You can see here also you have one, here also you have one. Okay, so that's how simply you can create a new appraisal in the appraisal module of Odoo 18. Yeah, that's it guys. So that's how simply you can deal with the appraisal. I hope it's clear for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video.